Hello, River Heights. This is your school announcement for Friday, October 21st, 2011. Hi, I'm Christine. And hi, I'm Kayla. Welcome to Colts News. Happy Friday to everyone out there. Got a Saturday school you have to go? Well, you'll have to be here by 8 a.m. in our library. Be here on time to get credit for showing up. Hey, there's a pancake breakfast this Saturday. Yeah, come on down to the pancake breakfast tomorrow, October 22nd from 8.30 to 11. It's here at the school in the NPR. Band is selling tickets in the band room. Know how much they are? No. Just $5. The band and choir will be performing between 9 and 10.30 tomorrow morning. Eat all the yummy pancakes you can. Anime Club is starting up. The first meeting will be Tuesday, October 25th from 3.15 to 4 in room D105. Come on in and check it out. Hey, don't like to do your homework? Then you have to find yourself giving up your lunch time to do it in the quiet zone. Check out a good book lately from the library? Well, it's time to turn in those library books. Don't let them get overdue. Turn them back in. We'll be right back after this. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Clamp, and I just wanted to talk uh, for a few minutes about uh, homework. Uh, my suggestion for making sure you get your homework done is to come up with a time every night that you're going to do it. For example, you may want to do your homework between 5 and 6, 6 and 7, 7 to 8, it doesn't matter when. Just set a time aside every day or every night that you're going to start on your homework. And what will happen is it will turn into a, a habit. And a habit is something you're going to do with, without thinking about it too much. So that would be my uh, tip for the day is set aside a time you're going to do homework every night. Thanks a lot. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Clampett. I just want to invite you out to our last basketball game, which is going to be Tuesday, November 1st, against Augie Ramirez. Both the boys' teams and the girls' team are undefeated. We're going to be playing for the championship. We really need you out there to come out and support us. Again, that's November 1st, Tuesday. The girls start at 5 p.m., and the boys are immediately after, usually around 6 o'clock. So I hope to see you all there. Thanks a lot for your support. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Clamp, and I just want to invite you out to our last basketball game, which is going to be at Roosevelt High School, Tuesday, November 1st. We're going to be playing Audie Ramirez. Both the boys' team and the girls' team are undefeated. We're going to be playing for the championship. Girls start at 5 p.m., uh, boys at 6 p.m. Hope to see you there. Thanks a lot. I have to do that. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Clamp. I just want to invite you guys out to our last basketball game of the year against Audie Ramirez, and that's going to be Tuesday, November 1st. It's going to be at Roosevelt High School. Both of our teams are undefeated. Both of our teams, the boys and girls, are going to be playing for the championship. We really need you to come out and support us. Again, that's Tuesday, November 1st. The girls play at 5 at Roosevelt High School against Ramirez. Go Colts! It's an iconic American image, a red barn on rolling farmland. Never green, never teal, never yellow. So why are barns always red? The tradition dates back centuries, in part because red paint was cheaper in the 19th century, and in part because before that, farmers mixed their paint with milk, linseed oil, and iron oxide, AKA rust, producing a reddish mix that also helped protect the barn. Red's also been the traditional color of stoplights since the first one was turned on in Cleveland in 1914. That light only had green for go and red for stop. Yellow lights came along a few years later. Yellow has also been the color of NFL penalty flags since 1965. School buses are also yellow, actually a particular shade called National School Bus Chrome, so the letters will stand out in early morning or at dusk. Taxis have been yellow since John Hertz, also the founder of the rent-a-car service, adopted it for his Chicago cab business in 1915. Now yellow is the only color allowed in New York, where a yellow taxi medallion costs close to a million dollars. A lot of green. Greenbacks were printed during the Civil War, and it's been the color of American money ever since. There's no particular reason for green. In fact, the U.S. is the only country where all bills are the same size and dominant color. At least green makes more sense as the traditional color of the iconic John Deere tractor. So it'll look nice parked in front of your big red barn. Back. Hey, lend me a dollar? For what? A boogram. 
They'll be sold from October 17th to October 26th during both lunches for just $1. It'll come with a bracelet and will be delivered on October 28th. So can you lend me that buck now? <laughs> it's Red Ribbon Week next week. Starting on Monday, October 24th, it'll be Crazy Sock Day. That's right, Colt. Sock it to Judd. Wear your crazy socks on Monday. It's not the stinkiest sock day, so make sure your socks are clean. But crazy. Drug free is a choice for me. Did you order your yearbook yet? Right now it's only $23, but next month it's going up probably to $60. Oh no. Just kidding. We'll go up. Order yours for Miss Donna in the library or Miss Burcham. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter and YouTube. <laughs> and that's all the news for today. Thanks for watching, and we hope you liked our newscast. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.